What's going on everybody, it is Kevin here once again giving you gameplay commentary. And in this video what I want to talk about is the Dark Zone for The Division. We recently got a chance to see some brand new gameplay of the Dark Zone with E3 coming around for us and giving us gamers all the extra little information that we want from this kind of game because this game has been rather hush hush for so long. It's glad to see some actual gameplay coming from it. Though what I want to talk about in this video are my concerns about the Dark Zone. Because I saw a lot of great things, but as the uh, gameplay trailer went on, I started seeing more and more things that concerned me. Especially when it comes to cooperative play in the Dark Zone. Now, when the game trailer first starts off, you get to see some PvE action. And you know, the teams are working together, showing off some new gadgets and stuff like that. Later on, the character that you're following picks up a legendary item. Now, the thing about legendary items is that they need to be extracted to be used. You can't use them because they're contaminated. But you can notice once he picks up that legendary item, he gets this contaminated backpack that gets placed onto the player's back, showing that the player has legendary loot. Which is a nice little aesthetic to show that you've picked up something cool now. That's great. Problem is though, is that you're showing that to everybody else. Now in the gameplay multiplayer reveal, they showed that they come across two extra players. Those two players work together with the group that we're following. So they end up becoming a cooperative group of five players which are much more stronger and powerful. That's really cool. I'm really glad to see something like that ha be able to happen in the Dark Zone. But sadly enough, towards the end, they see that the team that you're following decides to just be complete jerks to these people who are being really nice and helping them out. They just decide to turn on them and kill these players and pick up their loot. So now the team that's been helping them the entire time gets punished for working cooperatively with random players. And then even at towards the end of the trailer, the player that you're following decides to go completely rogue and goes against his own teammates and kills them and picks up their loot and heads out. To me, this is just a recipe for disaster to happen when it comes to the Dark Zone aspect of the game. I've seen something very similar like this happen far too often in DayZ. In DayZ, there, you cannot trust anybody you see. Literally, you can't trust anybody. Even if they say that they're friendly, they're gonna shoot you anyways. Because you have no value to them. Yes, there is strength in numbers, but once they don't need you anymore, they're just gonna dispose of you. And then that you clearly saw that happen in the gameplay trailer. So I can probably predict what's gonna happen in the Dark Zone that unless you're playing with a group of friends that you play with quite often in the Division, it's just gonna be a straight on, shoot on sight, PvP, multiplayer player gameplay, which is totally understandable because that's kind of the idea of the Dark Zone is that there's PvP, but the problem I found though watching this trailer is that these guys who are in this zone decide to work cooperatively with people to reach an end goal of you know extracting their legendary loot, and then they just decide just to turn on them by just, you know, for, just because they want their loot. They have no value to them anymore. And to make that e matters even worse is that there is no cross-team communication right now in the Dark Zone for the Division. Apparently there's a set of emotes that you can give players to show that you're friendly and try to communicate with them, but there is no voice communication. Again, I have to bring this up, but oftentimes when I'm playing DayZ and I'm not using my microphone or something, People just, just try, people just try to kill me instantly because I have no value to them. This multiplayer reveal really rubbed me the wrong way. The selfishness of a single player can ruin the experience for everybody else. Yes, that's an aspect that can happen in real life, but then again, you gotta think about it, we're playing a video game here. Get, I just hate seeing players get punished for working cooperatively with other players. So I have a proposed fix for helping out friendly players from getting screwed over by dickish players who are very selfish and only want loot for themselves. I'm saying that we implement a persistent rogue ranking, much like how you rank up with the players. We can already see a player's rank once we put the cursor over them. Why not have a little emblem right next to that with like the rogue symbol and having a certain number attached to it? The higher the number, the more often that player goes rogue. Because just having a temporary tag on a player since they're rogue for the next minute and a half doesn't change the mentality of how that person plays. Now I understand sometimes you're gonna have to kill other players in self-defense. This could also count towards your rogue ranking because then you get in that gray area that's hard to keep track of, of was it a defensive shot or was it an offensive shot. So I'd still say have that count towards your rank, but obviously players that play rogue will have a much higher rank than non-rogue players. Maybe you can implement some kind of scale saying like, you know, 
0 through 10, you're generally you're a friendly player. 10 to 20, you're a mix sometimes, bad sometimes, good, and like, I mean, 20 to 30, you pretty much continually a rogue-like player. That Those numbers are just for example, you're getting the point here. But then this also brings up the issue of just eventually reaching max rank. What I would think would need to do for this rogue ranking system would be that you'd have to have a monthly refresh. So then uh, those players who are continually play rogue and want to change up their playing style, next month, you'll be able to start brand new, play friendly, and enjoy the game in a different light. So let me know what you guys think about this potential rogue system to be implemented into the division for the Dark Zone so we can, so players can actually tell the difference between friendly and foe players. You know, if you like this rogue system idea, you know, please share this video, you know, tweet it towards the developers. Uh, hit the like button so more people get a chance to see this video. So we get a chance to experience the best the division can give us. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.